Welcome back to our continuing coverage of the Swiss Open. At the St. Jakobs Halle here in Basel. And up next, it's the women's doubles final. It's a Japanese Korean affair. Youth versus experience. Here's how the race to Guangzhou looks at the moment as far as the women's doubles are concerned. This is before this tournament, obviously. Top eight to go through. Strong Japanese contention, as you can see. Remember, only two per nation can qualify. Top eight will go through. Here's how the draws panned out. See, Matsuyama and Shida needed three games yesterday to go through. Chang and Jung a little easy against the Stoiber sisters. Please welcome from Japan, Nami Matsuyama and Chihao Shida. crowd here we had a good crowd yesterday actually as well but uh, always well attended on finals day here in Basel ja liebe Zuschauerinnen und Zuschauer nach diesem spannenden Mix kommen wir nur zum Damen Doppel und ich möchte Sie noch darauf aufmerksam machen wir werden hier heute bereits begleitet von Basil Basil ist unser Lehrmaskottchen hier dann auch ein Klaus hier anwesend sein wird Okay, ladies, I have black and red. Who will choose? Black? First meeting, as you can see. Red. So, what do you no head to head to go on here. Receive? Who will receive? You are Chiharu. Chan will serve. Okay, what side? Okay. So now in Matsuyama, ranked currently uh, 13, which is the highest that they've been as a pair. They won a bronze in the uh, 2015 World Junior Championship with Shida, and then a gold a year later with a different partner. She's back with Shida now. A year older, Shida. They did win the Chinese Taipei Open last year, and that's a Super 300 event. Runners-up in Spain a few weeks ago. In fact, they were runners-up in four events last year, including the Singapore Open, and that's a Super 500. So, decent pedigree there. It's taken them three games in a couple of the rounds, a real marathon in the semi yesterday. So Chen Yina has been up as high as two in the rankings. That was in November of 2017. Played with uh, Lisa He till last year, eight titles in total. And uh, a year younger, her partner Chun Kyung Yun. 
who won the Korea Masters last year as a pair. In fact, she won Olympic bronze in Rio with uh, Shin Seung Chen. And before that, had success with uh, Kim Ha Na as well. 17 titles in total for June. Ready to play? Not dropped a game so far. Masha Robertson from Belgium is in the umpire's chair here. And she'll be assisted by Swiss service judge Arno Verdon. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Nami Matsuyama, Chiharu Shida, Japan. And on my left, Chang Yi Na, Jung Kyung Un, Korea. Chang Yi Na to serve to Chiharu Shida. Love all, play. So here we go for this women's doubles final. You can see how the Koreans can start on the front foot, trying and dominate, even in that first point. Straight into a Kind of defensive mindset, the Japanese pair. Oh, well done. Found the gaping court. Service over. One, two. Got the feeling there that Rashida might have been. Oh, uh, I beg your pardon, Kyung should have been a bit further across, maybe. And so it was a very large gap to aim at.
Straight down the middle is always a pretty effective tactic. Service over. Three, one. Can't afford to make too many so of those uh, unforced errors. Shida with a wry smile. Oh, it's a really deft touch from Matsuyama. I think we'll see quite a lot of that from her. She's a real, really creative player. Just 20. Too much angle. Six, three. Do well to keep the shuttle in play there. Shot on the floor from Shida. Well, they're just being pressured every point. Over, four, I'm a little six. bit fortunate there that that drifted long because we're never going to have uh, managed to retrieve it just fractionally beyond the baseline. Ah. Yeah, that's better. That's what they want to see a bit more of. Put away Six. emphatically by Matsuyama. Was the best of this Japanese pair. Seven, Great touch, both six. of them. Matsuyama in particular. It's actually Shida who set that up with the initial drop shot.
silver, seven, all. Service over, eight, all. Easy put away. Service over, nine, eight. Just get the feeling that when Matsuyama and Shida Service get more over. offensive, they cause so many more Nine, problems. Ten. That was a good example of it. The first few points, they were very much on the back foot. That's changed a little bit. Service over, 11-9 interval. So a two-point advantage for the Koreans at the interval. Excellent pressure again, particularly 12, nine. from Jun.
It's a great rally. I think they were as much out thought as outplayed there, the Japanese pair. Service over. 13, 10. Just got themselves into the wrong positions and very vulnerable to the shot cross court. Forced error from Shida. This can't afford to be that wasteful against a pair of this quality. Service over. 11 14. Well, that was the case of uh, anything Service you could do, because they were stranded. 12, 15. The Korean pair. I think, <laughs> actually, the fact that Jung initially went for it put Chang off a little bit. Either way, back to within three points. You can almost see the concentration etched over Matsuyama's face. Service over, 16, 12. She could do absolutely nothing about it. Focus here, but just came so hard at her. And now there's a little bit of daylight. 51 shot rally, 16 12. Nicely done by Matsuyama. A couple of quizzical looks back and forth between 14, Chang and Jun. 
silver. Would have been a massive 17, point for the 14. Japanese pair to win that, just to get them back within one, but just always been playing catch up a little bit in this game. Very quick there, Matsuyama. Sarasova, 15, 17. No stage 18, in this match 15. of Matsuyama and Shida kind of threatened to put together a run of four or five points. Always been under pressure, scoreboard pressure and literally pressure on court as well. But they're still in there fighting. Over 16, 18. Silver. Excellent from June. 1916. So they look to close out this game. Play. Hey. And that error. From Shida gives the Koreans game four game 16. points. Just needed the one. Picked off the serve and 21 points to 16. The number four seeds are in front. First game won by Chang Yuna, Jung Kyung Un, 21-16. Second game. So Matsuyama and Shida need to find a bit of inspiration Play. from somewhere here. Hey. 
overhits it. One love. I think just for a moment she was going to leave that. It was an afterthought to play it, and she just pretty much dollied it up for an easy put away for Jung. Take everything they can get, net cords and all. Well, slightly more positive signs for Matsuyama and Shida in the second game, early stages. Not just the scoreline, but looks to me as though they're trying to be a little bit more proactive here. That was hit very, very powerfully by Joe. So first Nami, time Matsuyama, that Hawkeye Chan, yes. being Four. used in this match. Oh. Ball was out. Let's see what uh, Hawkeye has to make of it. Correction. Well, in. by a distance. That was a strange one. Six, five, play. Oh. 
Well, how on earth? How on earth did the Koreans win that point? Because they had absolutely no right to. Service over. They're kicking themselves. Six, That's the armor and Sheeta. Never looked favourite there, Sheeta, did she? That was a nice little change-up. Very good, Matsuyama. Service over. Seven all. Completely foxed the Koreans. Story of their afternoon so far, really. Ten, Competitive eight. in those rallies, and then out comes the error. Just handing the initiative to the Koreans, who if they win this point, will have a useful three point advantage at the interval in the second game. Matsuyama coming to her team's aid when she needed or when they needed it most. Nine, ten. It was a very awkward height, actually. That's what 
Gave Jung a problem as much as anything else. was actually out so 11-9 it is a two-point advantage for the Koreans as we go to the interval It's now or never for never Matsuyama never and Shida. We'll come back here Play. if they want to extend this final. <laughs> Koreans much the more experienced, 12, of course. Nine. Chang 29, Jung 28. Japanese 20 and 21, respectively. Matsuyama and Shida. going right for them at the moment. Since the interval, the Japanese have had no answer. 15-9. Gotta say, yesterday in the semi-final, Chang and Jun don't think we're at their best, but right now, they're probably playing as well as they have at any stage this week. And that's what it's about, peaking at the right time. Well, you're almost surprised when they Service miss. Over. 10, 16. Normal service resumed. Service over. 17, 10.
They just grind you down. And it's mighty impressive to watch. 18, 10. Nothing's working. It's almost a resigned look 19, from Shida. They've, they've tried everything. Started off in somewhat defensive mode. They've tried to be more proactive, but just on the day, outclassed by Chang and Chun. Just a couple of points away now from the title. Well, if they're going to go down, they're going to go down fighting. Service over, 11 19. <laughs> the crowd enjoyed that, so did they. Maybe only a stay of execution. Twelve nineteen. Just work the two Koreans onto one side of the court. And the little drop shot was perfect. Well, I guess sometimes when you feel you have nothing to lose, you can uh, maybe play with 13, a bit more freedom. 19. Absolutely hammered by Matsuyama. <laughs> but now... Seven so championship points. Twenty match point thirteen. That'll work. 21-13 in the second game, a comprehensive victory, really, for Chen and Jun. Matsuyama and Shida Stay will come, I'm sure of that. Very young, both of them, but today, experience won the day. Match won by Chang Yuna, Jung Kyun Un, 21-16, 21-13. Just 44 minutes the match time. And a result that was uh, never really in too much doubt from 
relatively early on. Excellent crowd in here again today. This is the venue that will stage the World Championships in August. Got all kinds of sports in here, actually. Tennis, volleyball, we've had uh, equestrian events, handball, curling. And the Basel uh, ice hockey team were based here up until uh, 2002. Verehrte Zuschauerinnen und Zuschauer, Ladies and Gentlemen, Siegerehrung im Damen Doppel, Prize Giving Ceremony of the Women's Doubles. Die Siegerehrung wird durchgeführt von The Prizes are given by Charles R. Keller, Vizepräsident des Organisationskomitees, Vice President of the Organizing Committee, und Simon Ramsauer, Geschäftsführerin Swiss Badminton, Executive Director of Swiss Badminton. Die Pokale wurden gestiftet von der Trophy Sponsored by Glass Technik Werner Rahm. Die Taschenmesser wurden gesponsert von The Knives, are sponsored by Victorinox. Die Uhren wurden gesponsert von The Watches, are sponsored by Mega SA. The runners up of the Women's Doubles representing Japan, Nami Matsuyama and Chiharu Shida. Just outclassed today, nothing really they could do. All part of a learning experience, though. I'm going to check for 5,700 US dollars, as well as the runners up trophies. of the Yonex Swiss Open 2019 in women's doubles, representing Korea, Chang Yena and Jong Kyun An. Been excellent all week, haven't dropped a single game all week. No one can have any doubt that they're worthy champions here. Well, as their trophy, they will collect a check for eleven thousand eight hundred and fifty US dollars. So we've seen two doubles pairs crowned already. Next up, you won't want to miss this, the men's singles. Stay with us.